Hello everyone, today I have a great pleasure to speak with Ling Lai, who is based in Bali. Hi Ling, it's a great pleasure to have you in our community. Hi Ed, thanks for inviting me. So uh, Ling, my first question to you is, can you share a little bit more about who you are today and how you become who are you today? What is your story? Okay, um, so I am today a holistic educator on sexual energy and women empowerment. Um, so basically, I'm empowering women by helping them reconnecting with their wildness, with their inner beast, with their sexual energy, which is the primal life force um, that can guide us through and uh, and can fuel us in every single aspect of our life, in our health, in our love, in our relationships, in our wealth, in our career, in finding who we are and um, living the life that women live. So that's basically what I'm helping women do, like just manifesting everything they want in their life with their sexual energy and find an inner guru, inner wisdom, um, and really to turn inwards to find answers for their life instead of seeking outside in a partner or, you know, chasing something outside of themselves. Um, and how I came to this right now is a series of personal stories that are closely related to sex and child uh, in childbirth. So basically, I had, uh, when I was 19, I had the first sex experience with my first boyfriend. And then very quickly, due to lack of education, I had the first pregnancy. Actually, yeah, I got pregnant without even knowing it, without being conscious how it happened. And then I had the first abortion, which was super painful emotionally and physically. And that led to me swearing to myself, I would never, ever do this thing again. And then it was like the first initiation for my sexual education. So it was the beginning of my path of personal awakening. Um, and I started to talk to God in extreme pain and annihilation of my identity before all that. So it was, it was like a reset for my life. And... And from there, I went on to, you know, working for nature, working um, later on, which led to my studies in holistic science as my master degree. And there I learned to really integrate myself, my body, my soul, my heart, my brain, my mind as one. And then um, trying to find more oneness within me and between me and others, me and the universe. Uh, and from there, I met the dad of my daughter now. And then I gave birth at home, which was another rite of passage, another initiation um, through birth. So the previous story of abortion is like the lesson of death. And then this one is the lesson of life, which started since the, the, the birth of my daughter at home in the most natural, spiritual way possible. And then all this last six years of raising her is like the ultimate um, application of the most, the toughest spiritual teachings um, I receive and the, and the best learning process as a person as well. And also I became a single mom later on. And then I explored my own sexual energy and how it can help me in my motherhood, in my journey of building, building my personal brand, um, in serving the world, um, and all that. And that's basically I'm teaching out of my life experience. I didn't really go to a lot of classes, get any certificate. Um, and, and, and I'm actually one of the first and only person, people doing this kind of work in China because we are so behind in any sexual education or, um, education that is holistic enough to talk about it in a way that it's physical emotional and spiritual act instead of you know just tech, teaching techniques and having more fun and pleasure and all that kind of thing for me is really like the ultimate topic about life that we can talk about um and i'm helping women get 
that's the sentence I use. I am helping women get well fucked by life. For me, it doesn't really matter if people are really having sex or not, as long as they feel well fucked by life or God, um, whatever word people prefer to use. Um, is that feeling, is that feeling of enthusiasm? The word enthusiasm means to be entered by God, to be embodied by God. That's the kind of state I want to help people stay in, whether in their work, in their relationships, eh, alone, being alone, or in nature, I, just a state of being um, instead of a certain action. Um, and yeah, and my mission is to help people find more freedom abundance and happiness in all areas of their life, in their health, in their relationships, um, and in wealth as well. I would in, usually invite my students to look at their yoni at least, because lots of people never even look at it, especially mm -hmm. women. Um, and look at it, looking at it not as a tool for having pleasure or give birth to babies, not something just functional, but see it as a friend, really appreciate him or her trying to see see it for what it is instead of what it can bring us and really try to connect with it on a physical level like we can touch it we can look at it we can smell it um and also to connect on an emotional and spiritual level like really try to listen to her or listen to him a man is like their lingam which is the penis like it's both very sacred parts of ourselves where there are very ancient wisdom lying there. There is the inner knowing there. Um, and I often encourage people to listen or to speak, to think from their yoni, from their balls. Um, and that way we make better decisions and that way we know ourselves more, we feel more empowered. Um, no matter how we look, you know, like there's so much uh, the power lying down there, in there, is so much bigger than all these things on the outside. Like, if you're not confident about your face or your body shape or whatever, I would say just go reconnect with your most essential part of your body, which is our sexual organ. In Chinese Taoist philosophy, um, the sexual energy is jing, which means the essence of life. So if we just focus on, on all the superficial things about us instead of our essence, then of course, we're not living a, a fully empowered, authentic life. But if we do, then we'll realize that it's not our shadow. It's what we are. We should be proud of. There is so much mm. power and treasure in it. Um, and although in the beginning, when we look at it and connect with it, we might feel more numbness or pain um, because we are so used to suppressing it all our lives. Um, because of the mainstream culture, but then the more we dig into it, the more we, you know, love ourselves. I don't want to say masturbate because masturbation is a very, uh, you know, it, it's a, a goal-oriented thing. I, we just get the orgasm and then done. But for me, self-loving, which as a very important practice, is just a conversation with our body, asking what we want and giving our body some love and care and and then listen to it, or listen to the wisdom of it. And that's and like all the small things are just part of, you know, um, my practices. And once we awaken our sexual energy by all these ways, there are millions of ways, and I just mentioned a few here, um, we can then channel it into whatever we want to do for example i love channeling my sexual energy in creating art or in my work um because it's the power that gets you going it's the power that makes you feel like now i'm confident enough to do something i just imagine like you know how you feel after some great sex then you have more energy at work you have more confidence in whatever tasks you need to accomplish or when you need to perform, you just feel like on the top of the world. And that kind of feeling, we can like what I call it, the well-fucked feeling. We can have mm -hmm. like just knowing we have access to it. We can achieve that state anytime we want by connecting yeah. with that. Yeah. yeah.
Yeah, it sounds like uh, uh, people are disconnected from uh, their sexual energy or they just use for some uh, immediate pleasure. And I think that's also part of the society today. Everybody expecting uh, results quick, yeah. fast and without too much thinking. One click and here you go. So yeah. how, how do you think uh, the, the, your clients or women or people who are interested in this topic can connect again? with their sexual energy when we see the whole world is moving like to online and actually this connection is the trend instead i mean connection online but this connection in physical world and how that uh, works and how people still can uh connect with uh, their sexual energy from your experience and from your from your teaching form from something you are helping others yeah well most of the time my work is online by the way so that's how i can touch like hundreds and thousands of students without actually having to be there physically mm -hmm. um so i teach them a lot of tools um sometimes i record videos like showing them how for example i love myself actual practice of you know self-loving yoni massage and actually a whole body is a sexual organ and you know this any part of our body can be a sexual organ our ears are nipples whatever that is sensitive for you and and the goal is not even to just get turned on or aroused most people are so numb in their body like most of us live in here instead of here and you know in our sexual parts and which is our root chakra i teach through the chakra system so mm -hmm. i teach people how to activate their sexual energy from every single chakra um and there are different ways for activating each chakra with each practice. So, for example, um, if you want to activate the crown chakra and in the sexual energy way, then it's imagination. Some people might call it like sexual fantasies or whatever, but you know, we can activate our body in a way that as if it's like experiencing a real orgasm or real amazing something anything it doesn't even have to be sexual mm -hmm. but we can do that by imagination and by putting ourselves into fully into that scene in our mind and then we can you know all the hormones are working and mm -hmm. it's almost the same as the real experience itself and then if we're talking about the root chakra then we can really put our finger into it and i don't know if i can talk about this in this video because it's controversial but i do teach people to do anal sex massage for themselves um with their fingers or with a tool because that's like you know our base our root chakra our relationship with money our relationship with nature um with our own body with materials you know all these grounding things are actually very related to our root chakra so in english we say tight assets right that means people who are conservative who you know are very um, held back together and can't really be flowing and free and all that. And that's actually literally because we have, we really have very tight asses, most of us. And by doing some practices there, by loving this most unlovable part of our body, you know, um, we can really unleash a lot of power from our root chakra, which is the basis of all the chakra of the whole body. Um, like we can unlock our relationship with money. We can have, you know, better. Like it's a, it's a way of detox for me is a catharsis um, mm -hmm. for the whole body and emotions. If I'm stuck, if I get tense or whatever, if I need to unblock my mind, sometimes I just go fuck myself in the ass. <laughs> and I used to, I used to joke, um, for my students like if you want more cash fuck yourself in the ass because it's related to money like our channel um our money flow is very related to how you know how our root chakra is flowing if it's not flowing then you know anal is much more effective than the yoni which is the sex chakra um so yeah that's like there's a, a thousand practices we can do by just watching videos or listening to instructions that we can do anytime at home. There's um, there's as simple as, you know, just squeezing the yoni for women mm -hmm. or for men as well. Like in Chinese medicine, we call this point an acupressure point, you know, the point between the penis or the yoni 
um, between there and the anal at the anus, like there is this point is the entrance or the the place of the root chakra, and it's very important for us. So when we squeeze our pelvic floor, um, then we are activating this energy. And a lot of us in yoga, for example, will um, will we'll do, we'll call it you know mula bandha. So we this energetic lock. We lock it when we do the asanas, the poses. Um, and then a lot of people will actually feel immediate surge of energy coming up and they'll, um, when they do this. So this again is another exercise that can easily connect us with our roots, with our sexual energy. And they can, people can do it anywhere when they're queuing in the bank, when they're sitting on the car and, you know, having classes, whatever. There are a million ways that we can connect in instantly with our sexual energy. It's more about the awareness and the mm. habit, I think. So um, I have been working with Chinese clients mainly so far, although I do mm. speak fluent English and French. It's mm -hmm. just like the necessity that pushed me there because it's so rare in China and there's almost nobody doing it. Um, so That's I super also amazing. Oh, it's such a huge country. Yeah, and, 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 yeah, and, and I have been deleted. Too. Like my website and my content have been deleted and all that many many times. I have like um, almost ten thousand followers and all that um, on my website uh, subscribers. And then, but I've been deleted. My personal social media account have been, you know, deleted and all that censored many times in a Chinese platform. Um, so all my materials so far, like I publish one article every day about, you know, a sp specific tip uh, in sexual energy, but so far all in Chinese. So my for my international clients so far, I only began to work with international clients recently mm -hmm. because of the severe censorship in China that just made everything very dangerous. Like I could be shut down any time. Um, so right now I'm not offering like a masterclass online, like my Chinese class yet, because I I already have hundreds of clients in China I have to take care of, but I do offer one-on-one -on -one coaching, um, for international clients. So people can reach out on me on a one-on-one -on -one basis. And that's the most effective way of working anyway. That's so far from my, from my experience. And for the Chinese people, then I record audio, I record video. Uh, I have daily interaction with them on our online classroom. And um, I also have like Q&A, live Q&A every week where people can FaceTime with me and uh, ask their questions and get answer or they can make all kinds of requests like ask me to moan in front of them so that they can learn <laughs> things like that, just whatever. And they can ask me questions not just about sex but also about building their personal brand, their business, about money, investment health, child raising, birth, and all that. Because I was a doula, I was a birth educator and nature educator as well. So basically anything that covers a woman's life, her relationship with her partner, her child or universe, you know, whatever. So that's, that's I'm, I'm coaching people on a very broad level. So I would call myself like a life coach, mm -hmm. not just a sex or love coach um, or a wealth coach. Mm -hmm. So yeah, just okay, anything so that it's... covers. It's it's an exclusive uh, uh, relationship with you, so it's a one on one. So people who 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 watch this video, who who might be interested to learn more about their sexuality and how to use, uh, you know, yeah. to serve them in all aspects. So like the best way is to contact you directly yeah. and start from there. Yeah. Okay. But also, and, I just uh -huh. want to mention, I don't work online one hundred percent exclusively. Mm -hmm. I do teach um, workshops all around the world, um, mm -hmm. in China, in Europe, and here in Bali, especially where I live right now. But of course, because of a pandemic, it's all gone. So um, I do accept, like, I do do retreats in a big group in mm -hmm. English or Chinese as well. But, but this will happen after the pandemic. Yeah, that, that, that's actually what I wanted to ask you. So you are now based in Bali, so that means you will stay in Bali for a while, or living in Bali for my life. Yeah, this oh, is okay. my home. Yeah, uh, I have a home in uh -huh. Europe actually. So I go back to Europe every summer. Um, in France. Mm -hmm. In Europe, like I'm all not in over France. Europe. All over the Europe. Uh, okay. Yeah, I do go to France as well, but like all over because I have family all over and friends all over. So each summer I travel around Europe, all over. And maybe teach sometimes, yeah. 
Oh, okay, okay, sounds great. Thank you so much, Link, for for sharing uh, this uh, uh, amazing uh, story. And uh, I think so many members can have benefits from uh, reaching out to you. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's a great pleasure to have you in. Uh, I think you can serve our members. And for all of you guys who like this video, please uh, subscribe to our channel. Enjoy in uh, stories of amazing female entrepreneurs, women who are. Uh, working on themselves on all different level, the spiritual level, uh, physical level, and also mindset. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Link. You. Thank you. Bye.